Hi, Facebook. Happy Friday. Hey, Lindsay. Girl, where are your paintings? I miss them. If uh, y'all are just joining us, Lindsay is like the artiste here. Uh, she and her kids having to work, so no painting. Ugh. Oh, that stinks. Well, hopefully when you do get free time, I want to see your paintings again. I miss them. All right. Hey, everyone. Happy Friday. Thanks for joining us. This is Painting for Positivity. Um, News Blast 9 wants to encourage social distancing with a lot of y'all uh, while you guys are at home. So um, this is one way to kind of keep you guys busy painting, whether you have painted before or not. It's totally okay. Uh, some people say that they just like to watch which is fine, you could do that too. Okay, so I figure, you know what? Severe weather is in the forecast. Hey, Debbie, how are things? And uh, I was like, maybe I should just do another viewer picture. Okay, so this was sent in, probably one of our other uh, crazy weather events that we had. Um, I need to find out who sent this. But anyway, this was sent in from a viewer back in April. So... Yeah, crazy, just over the Permian Basin. Very, very nice picture. So um, we're gonna do that today. Oh, cool. You're gonna have to share, Lindsay. I'd like to see them. So um, what I was saying yesterday, like whenever you're using a reference picture, you don't have to make it exactly uh, like how it is. You should, you should do this one. I figure this one might be easy. So that's, that's the goal today. I'm trying to figure out how to do this. So you see these black clouds just kind of go halfway on the painting. I think I'm going to have it start right here instead of just halfway. Yeah, crazy. I know. Be prepared today. Big uh, a chance of hail is in the forecast. Okay, I'm just going to get started. So if you can see here, there are uh, shades of purple and orange. Um, Heath, it should be... B, actually, what time is it? 12.01. It should be in a matter of minutes. Because once they hit, uh, once that plane hits Midland, then it's going to go over to Odessa. So I think uh, just in a couple of minutes, a little after 12. Well, it is 12, but you know. Okay, here we go. So I'm going to start off with purple. And make sure you have dark purple too. So it looks like, I'm just going to, I'm just going to go for it. Okay, here we go. Let me put more of this on here. Just going, just straight on the canvas. Y'all are probably like, why are you listening to the Beatles again? Honestly, okay, this is like the only band I can actually listen to and Facebook's not gonna be like, hey, you can't be, you can't be playing that in your videos. Okay, I'll drag that over. Now it gets a little dark right here. So I do have some dark purple, a little bit. Okay, let's add some black to here. Just a little drop. I really don't like this black. I highly suggest if you're gonna get black, do not get satin acrylic paint. <laughs> it's, it's awful. It comes out like a weird gray, but if you're mixing, it's fine. But that plain thing I was talking about, um, Heath was just asking. So uh, if you missed the, the newscast this morning, we were talking about how Dias Air Force Base, they're basically um, showing support to our local hospitals uh, this afternoon. Just in a matter of minutes, we should be hearing the plane fly over. And um, they just want to say thank you to our uh, the men and women who are working the front lines of the COVID-19 pandemic. Um, because a lot of our West Texas hospitals, they do serve... Uh, airmen and of course their families so this is their way of saying thank you so if y'all missed the flyover earlier this week this is another chance to see it i believe it's just going to be one though but uh we should hear it shortly what time is it 1201 no what is it oh 1212 i don't know did i miss it i don't know if, did you did y'all hear anything let me know Oh, 
I'm hearing something. I don't know if that's it though. But they said, um, uh, what did they say? They said Midland first over Midland Memorial Hospital and then they were gonna fly over Odessa Regional. So this is kind of like a darker burnt orange, but what I'm gonna do is actually add a hint of red I'm gonna add some black to darken this and then I'm gonna blend some of this together. Yeah, it looks like nothing now. Oh, you did hear it, Jewel? By Midland Drive? Okay, so I guess it did pass. Probably the one earlier this week was louder then. I'm adding some black on here. Make sure when you're painting, you wash your brushes every single time you dip into another color. And the darker it is, the more dramatic it looks. I'm gonna, I'm gonna blend some of that. I'm gonna mix some red orange here. never get tired of the Beatles, I swear. I can listen to the Beatles all day. Okay. Now, there is a little bit of pink right here. So, yeah, I do have some pink. It's just a little drop. And I don't want to put this purple on the orange, so I'm washing in between that part. And I have a towel to dry off the excess water. The water is essentially going to thin out the paint and you might get water droplets, so you're gonna have to go back and make sure it looks opaque. Okay. So usually with lighter colors, you don't really have to dip in between each one. I'm gonna add more of this magenta. You don't wanna have harsh lines. Okay. That is way too much pink. We don't make mistakes. Hi Chandler! Long time no talk.
So here, I just keep going back and forth and you don't wanna have harsh lines in between two separate colors, right? And then that will eventually create... One just flew over my house here in Odessa. It was huge, loud, and breathtaking. Oh, I'm glad you saw it, Jess. Yeah, I think I heard it like a few minutes ago. That plane is huge though. They're so big. Okay, and then this kind of has like these strange brown marks, so I'm gonna go over that. Actually, I might put in some red here. Just a little bit of black. So when you add water, I just want to show you this. It um, it thins out the paint, and depending on what kind of paint you have, you get these weird marks on your canvas. So um, just be mindful on what kind of paint you're using. So right now I'm just making sure there are no harsh lines in between the color gradient. Okay, what do I need? I think I might use some more of the dark brownish orange right here. And put some black here. I'm hearing these noises and I can't tell if it's my apartment or if it's if it's like a plane outside. Probably just the apartment. I don't know. I'm tripping. I'm tripping y'all. Add more red to the side. So there are different types of acrylic paint. Usually I just get matte, but there are, um, what was it? There are some acrylic paints that have gloss on it. So it just makes it shiny. That's basically what it means.
and I think this is pretty much done. Okay. Now I'm just going to dry this. I would say if you are using, um, you should have um, skinny paint brushes, and I'll show you an example in a second. Okay, blow dryer just to dry up, speed up the drying process. <laughs> gonna add some black I'm not gonna use that horrible black anymore so I said this yesterday the paint that you typically find in tubes like this these will give you a thicker consistency sure you get the sides show you what I mean okay so if you see some of this this is very um, liquidy but so you notice a difference that's that's the kind of paint you want to paint with on canvas okay. and like I said you have to get the sides because if you want to hang this or give it to someone and if they want to hang it you want to make sure your painting looks good from all angles. And if you accidentally forget to paint the sides of it, just paint the sides black. Can't go wrong. Oh, Jelena forgot here. Jelena did a bad mistake. That's okay. It's a, it's a gradient, so it doesn't matter. Okay. Okay. And make sure you have like a rounded brush whenever you do these clouds. I think I know which one I want to use. Okay. This one's a little rounded. So I'm going to use that to blend some of this black here. Lightning is the fun part when you get to that. Yeah, you don't want to use a flat brush when you're making these clouds because you're going to get these very awkward straight lines. And this will all be blended out in a second. Okay, so it looks like some of that kind of kind of looks fluffy. 
yeah okay so right now I'm just kind of doing this tap and I don't want to have too much black I'll have to check Billy. I'm not sure. I'm wondering if someone actually uh, got video, but I'll check with the newsroom. So right now this is just a lot of tapping so that some of this black kind of fades. So when you do kind of dip the water in, or the brush in the water, this will start to thin out some of that paint. Okay, so let's just go ahead and start doing the lightning. Um, you're gonna use brushes that are pointed like this. Okay. Um, misconception is when people, let me show you an example. When you do your lightnings like this, you don't want that. So this is very, um, there's a very strong line here. So there are a lot of zigzags, but there's also this uh, movement to it that when you notice. So if I zoom in a little bit, there's kind of like this outline next to the lightning. So, let me do that. Okay. Um, actually, let me finish off this black background real quick. So from the bottom, you're not going to really do the same kind of movement that you did on the top. Just cover up this white gap right here. I go through this black paint like crazy. I'm gonna have to restock. Okay, don't forget the sides. Make sure you don't forget it. I did this Salvador Dali painting in college and I never painted the sides and it still bothers me till this day. <laughs> emailing me okay so I'm just gonna cover up these gaps right here and I'm making upward strokes
Okay, so for this part, I'm going to, I think I'm gonna make this a little darker. So I'm gonna get some of that dark orange that I had earlier. Do y'all have any plans for the weekend? Is everyone excited for phase two on Monday? When things start to open up again? Okay, I'm gonna use a separate brush to kind of blend all of this together. This is a different one. This is gonna make sure this is dry. Okay. Oh, I do have some pink here. miss concerts y'all like listening to the Beatles and like Paul McCartney I think that was the last concert I went to actually I don't really do concerts anymore but that was a fun time Try not to use too much water because that's going to thin out your paint. And just wipe off the excess if there's too much. Okay, add more orange here. I'm going to switch to another brush and start doing this tapping motion. I don't know if it's going to do anything, but we'll see. Okay. 
See, it's nice to have a lot of brushes, so then you can just go back and just make some changes. Now I'm going to just clean up this part right here. And then the fun part is soon to come. Okay. I feel like we should just go straight to the lightning. Okay, so for that part, I'm going to use, where is it? Here it is. So there is some, there's a little bit of an outline. So I think I'm gonna start right here. So I know it is white, I know the lightning bolt is light. But there are kind of very interesting squiggles in this one. This part I'm gonna go over in the white after. And make sure to add some on the side. So it's, this one kind of has little bolts that kind of stick out. So you don't want to do like too many zigzags since a lot of lightning bolts kind of have their own shape with it. I'm going to use some of the orange too. Yeah, this part right here kind of has an orange outline. Okay, now I'm just gonna go ahead and do the white. Here's my other paintbrush. Okay, using another one, make sure it's pointed. your white paint ready. Okay, here we go. So I'm gonna actually, let me, <laughs> let me use my hair dryer real quick. So it gets smaller on top. And I don't wanna cover up my previous lightning that I just painted.
And the more lines you create, I think the better it looks. And a lot of this is how much pressure you're actually applying. I'll just do a little one. So I'm not actually following, following the same way the lightning actually looks in the photo. But they do typically get thinner once you reach the end. So slowly lift as you're getting towards the bottom. Then I'll just add another bolt right here. Okay, I'm just gonna add some more detail, maybe a hint of some of the orange too. I'm gonna add some more in the pink, just a lighter pink. I'm gonna mix those colors together. And this is gonna give the effect that it's a little faded. Some of those pictures that y'all send us when it's severe weather, they, they're kind of scary sometimes, but they look really cool. So if you catch any cool storms, make sure you send it to our weather team. Okay, this part needs a little more love, so I'm gonna add some more here. And you'll probably have to um, keep dipping your brush in the paint. Mm. Okay. Let's, let's just say that that's your lightning bolt, okay? Now, there are some lights, because it is the Permian Basin. These are oil companies. <laughs> so a lot of it uses just yellow and uh, white. I'll just make this super easy. You can use the back of the brush, dip in yellow, and then you're gonna, let me see, I need kind of an overall. Okay, so right here on the horizon, just add a bunch of dots. Okay. 
and some white too. So kind of stagger some of these dots a little bit. You don't have to do it in such a straight line. There's some orange here too. And then I do see some red lights here. This one's a little higher. Let's add a few more. Okay, and I did spill some black earlier, so I'm gonna paint over that. There you have it, West Texas weather. <laughs> Hopefully nothing too insane today. Um, I know we do have some hail in the forecast, but just be very careful. Um, if you need to bring anything inside, make sure you do so. Stay safe out there, okay? Hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. Be careful, be safe. Put your cars in the garage so they don't get hit with the hail. All right, bye y'all, have a great weekend.